What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss an upcoming light heavyweight bout, but before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. Help the channel grow. All right, guys, getting right into it. We got Kennedy and Juku taking on Ovin St. Peru this Saturday in the main card in the light heavyweight division in a fight that I think is pretty clear cut. Like, I know anything could happen in MMA, and that's like certainly the truth. But in this fight, I, I mean, just seeing OSP on the card in itself, I thought was quite shocking. I mean, I, th I honestly thought the guy was retired. You know, he hasn't fought since February of last year. So he hasn't fought in over a year. Hasn't had a win since he beat Shogun to a split decision 2022. And this has been a shell of himself since his win in, back in 2019 against Michel Oleksiejczyk. OSP just hasn't been the same, man. He's looked slow, sluggish, out of shape. He had his time at heavyweight where he fought Ben Ben Rothwell. I don't know, man. Does the guy need money? Like, I don't know. It's it, it, There's not many scenarios in this fight where I just don't see Kennedy absolutely walking through him. Kennedy's a big guy, long for the weight class, even at 205, 6'5", 83-inch reach. Tall, long, and lanky. And he fights that way too. He knows how to use his reach. Love his elbows and his front kicks and his clinch work. And I think he's going to use those exact weapons against OSP. I think he's just going to get a hold of them. Use those knees in the clinch. Just kind of get the job done. But, I mean, OSP, he definitely has a habit of making things dirty. Getting it on the ground and using his top pressure. He is an Ulster veteran, but he's 40 years old. Hasn't looked good in quite some time. Against a young, hungry lion like Kennedy who's been on the up and up. Yeah, he's coming off of that knockout loss to Dustin Jacoby, but Dustin's like a, like he's a fucking super formidable opponent right now and I just like I think Dustin I think Dustin Jacoby also completely dusts OSP. So in this fight, it's a good fight to get Kennedy back into the win column and I guess you can say it makes sense to get OSP another fight back, but I mean to be fair, I'm kind of shocked to even see that he's even fighting again. You know, you know, I just, I just hope that I just don't see him just like unconscious on the floor from like a flash knockout or something. Because as much as I love MMA, when you see these guys fighting for too long, sometimes it, it, it it's just hard to see sometimes as a fan, especially as a fan of OSP. You know, as as much as I'd like to see him win and get success, I don't see that happening in this fight. Who knows though? Because he he is a veteran. A lot of experience. He's been around for a long time. Fought the best of the best for a long time. But at the end of the day, man, every dog has his day. and <sighs> OSP's had his. And unfortunately, I don't think it's going to end up like Joanne Wood ending her career against Marina Moros, if you feel me. You know, so. But yeah, guys, I think Kennedy's going to get this done. I think he's going to get it done decisively, dominantly. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this matchup. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, that's going to do it for today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. Help the channel grow. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.